hello again. Um, in this video, I will be showing you how I get clean. Um, we used to, well, I do have a bath bench, but um, I keep it in the shed because I did use it in here for a while. It is nice to take a shower, but um, it if you have it, unless you put the whole entire bench in the bathtub, which it's not supposed to be, it's supposed to like ha be halfway in, halfway out. Um, but if you do it like that, water gets all over the floor because the curtain can't really shut all the way around the thing. Okay, so this is what I do when I take a bath, and typically I'm naked, but um, I didn't want to make that kind of video. Um, so anyway. I have to put my foot rests up so that I can get as close as possible to the edge of the bathtub. And then I just move myself around, pick up my legs. One time, ow, I fell out in the bathtub and I seriously, I don't know, now I can understand how people die from falls in the bathtub because I hit my head so hard. I almost lost consciousness, um, but I made it. Okay, so now I'm in the bath. Take a bath. Okay. Um, I really like taking really hot baths because I, it makes it where my feelings in my leg aren't pain. It's just, it completely exhausts me and, um, it, just I can't really feel my legs after they get hot um but the problem is that the other day I was taking a bath and I turned the water on let the bathtub fill up um and then when I came in here to get in the bath then um I got in as I do and my legs all of a sudden started feeling like they had a thousand tiny razor cuts all over them um of course by the time that I felt it I was already in the bath and as you'll see in a second well I might as well try to get out now okay anyway so I was all the way in the bath legs feeling like tons of razors cut I had to look at my legs to like verify that they weren't actually cut um, I think I had bubbles or something, so I had to pull my legs out and see what on earth. Odds are I had turned the water on too high or too, too hot. Um, so it was probably actually burning me, but my sensation is so odd. It doesn't feel the same. Um, but then once I realized that, whoa, the water's way too hot, um, something's going on because my legs are like bleeding to death without blood, um, then my spasticity kicked in, which is, I'll show you. This is spasticity. It's where your legs either won't bend or won't straighten or your arms or whatever. It's where you cannot like move your joints freely. That's called spasticity. And when I um, was feeling the burn of the bath, then my spasticity made it impossible for me to get out of the bath. Um, so I just had to sit there and I finally managed to pull myself up enough to drain some of the water out. And um, if I work, if I can bend my legs, then I can scoot up like this and then I can turn the water on or off. Okay, so when, the problem with taking bath like that, that, that I just did is freaking awesome because typically when I take a bath, by the time that the bath is over, um, I'm so hot, I can't feel my legs, you know, um, but I also can't get out of the bathtub. So I drain the water and then I sit there and sit there and sit there until finally I am cooled down enough or my legs are in pain enough to where they'll work instead of just be limp noodles. Um, but 
Nope, Megan. Okay, so that's it. That's getting in and out of the bath. Remarkably easy today. Typically it takes like, I don't know, half an hour to get in and out.